Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 30th of 2022, well, it is titled Mars and the Star Clusters. So what do we see here? Well, we see the brightest object there is the planet Mars, known as the red planet, for the distinct red color it shows. And that is due to the composition of its soil, where iron and oxygen have combined and give it a rusty reddish brown color that gives it this very distinctiveness that is unique to Mars. Now, Mars is in many ways one of the most Earth-like planets in that it's one that we could actually land on the surface and survive and has an atmosphere, although a very small, thin, thin atmosphere, and is one that probably of any of the planets is most likely to be colonized at some point in the future in the future because it is one that we could actually land on successfully. Now here we also see Mars is in the constellation of Taurus and we see two of the prominent star clusters in Taurus down towards the bottom there and on the left hand side we see another reddish object and that is a star and that is the star Aldebaran which is part of the head of the bull. And if you trace it down towards the lower right and then almost straight up, you see the V shape of the Hyades star cluster. So that is an example of a star cluster and an open star cluster. And we see that even though Aldebaran is not a part of this cluster, it kind of leads you right to it to see that little V shape that is present. Now this is one of the nearer star clusters being only 150 or so light years away. A little further away is the cluster on the right hand side and that is the Pleiades star cluster sometimes known as the Seven Sisters and that is also known as M45 classification of the Charles Messier's catalog from the 1700s. So there we get to see two open star clusters, clusters that are not gravitationally bound together and will slowly disperse over time. Uh, there are other clusters that are much, uh, have many more stars that are bound together and remain together for billions of years. But likely our own sun was part of a cluster like one of these in the distance, distant past and has just since wandered away along with the rest of those stars as those stars dispersed out just into the general population of the Milky Way galaxy. So here we get to see an image of Mars near those two prominent star clusters in Taurus. So that was our picture of the day for December 30th of 2022. It was titled Mars and the Star Clusters. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be so nice they named it twice. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.